I've heard other videos refer to Tennessee Walkers, Kentucky Saddlers, and Morgans as garbage horses, which is cruel and unfair. I mean, they're horses. They're beautiful and magnificent creatures. That being said, the Tennessee Walker is indeed ubiquitous and pervasive. They're very easy to find and all over the map. And there's nothing really special about the red roan Tennessee Walker, but then again, look at how pretty she is. How can you not fall in love with that strawberry blonde mane and tail? Whoa, whoa, easy. Here's the location, but you can find them literally everywhere, and they're so gentle and good-natured that they almost tame themselves. You first encounter them in Chapter 1. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Here's one at the Valentine Stable. She isn't for sale, but nobody's stopping you from just taking her. And you'll be happy to know that even Tilly agrees that she's a pretty horse and worthy of some love and attention. I do wish we knew what Tilly named her horse. I bet it's a girly name like Flower or Princess. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like and subscribe for more videos and we shall meet again further on down the trail. Down, Bill. After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not riding in another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, alright? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I'd feel a lot safer.